okay let us discuss this problem so what this problem says so let me first so let us draw the diagram and then we'll discuss what is the problem all about <clears throat> so this problem says if you heat maleic acid around 200 degrees centigrade it will form malic anhydride and it loses one molecular water now if you do the same thing with fumaric acid that is if you heat fumaric acid up to 200 degrees centigrade mind it it's up to 200 degrees centigrade not more than that that is a not very very high heating so this is a moderate heating 200 degree centigrade is not too much 100 degree centigrade are the water boils so you assume that the 200 is a double of that temperature so if you heat primaric acid up to 200 degree centigrade there is no reaction happens you have to give me the reason why this is so so i will give the reason only if you know what is the structure of malic acid and what is the structure of fumaric acid so this question is all about the structure of malic acid and fumaric acid once you write the structure you will get the answer and i will give you a hint malic acid is a dicarboxylic acid this means it contains two cooh group and this is eic acid maleic acid so this means this also contains a double bond so this contains a double bond containing two cooh group and this maleic acid if you remember so this also contains two carbon in the middle so basically you have total four carbon are you getting or not so now you have to derive the product malic acid contains four carbon two oh group coh group one double bond you write down the product and give the answer let us take 30 seconds it's easy problem if you know the answer that's fine Okay, let us discuss the answer of this problem. Now, this is malic acid. That is cis form of this. We have double bond, COH group, COH group. Now, this COH group is this side, this COH. So, this is a cis form of molecule. If you heat this, what happens? They can basically forming a hydrogen bond here. And if this oxygen and hydrogen forms hydrogen and can easily lose one molecule of water. So, if you heat one molecular water lost and this oxygen is connected to this carbon so you get a anhydride are you getting or not so if you lose if you heat and one h2o molecule goes out so i will having one molecule of h2o this easily happens because of the hydrogen bonding helps in loss of h2 so hydrogen bonding is there so there is oxygen and hydrogen so this hydrogen bonding is there this hydrogen bonding helps to loss of water molecule now if you see the corresponding trans part of the same molecule this is called fumaric acid now there is such kind of hydrogen bonding is not possible in this case of fumaric acid and that's why there is no reaction happen but if you do at higher temperature what happens trans isomer can isomerize into cis isomer so if you do at very high temperature so first have what happens this hydrogen cooh here you have cooh and hydrogen if you heat at very high temperature around 200 degrees centigrade this isomerizes so what happens cooh cooh h so you see the transform isomerizes to cis form so this is greater than 200 degrees centigrade so trans isomerizes to cis form if you do very high temperature trans isomerizes to cis form and then you can do decarboxylation or oh sorry you can do dehydration you can form anhydride so you see here we have written cis can lose h2o only if trans can lose h2o only if at higher temperature trans can isomerize into cis and it can lose water molecule so this is an important problem this in this problem what we have learned if you have two COH groups such that there is a hydrogen bonding formation, it can easily lose water molecule. If there is no water, so no hydrogen bonding formation, it can't lose a water molecule. So that we have learned from here. You see something like this also we have one kind of problem. This molecule COOH 
if I heat this will form this anhydride but if you heat this so this means they are basically at ortho position to each other but if you have either ortho para or ortho meta ortho uh, this is either you have meta position COH group or you have para position so this is a meta position no decur no H2 loss no anhydride formation even if you have para position something like this COOH COOH in this case also there will be no uh, anhydride formation so if I say a benzene contains two COH group and that does not form anhydride so I have two options either it can be meta or it can be para if I say a benzene that forms anhydride a benzene that has two COH group and forms anhydride then I know the answer this has to be at uh, ortho position that is the two adjacent position then only I can form anhydride because hydrogen bonding formation is easy in this case they can very close to each other in this case these hydrogen and oxygen are not very close to each other so there no hard anhydride formation so this is a uh, quite important problem we will discuss so this is basically used to determine the position of COH group in the benzene ring if an anhydride is formed I can say these are basically 1 2 position if there is no anhydride is formed they will be, be either para position or it be uh, meta position so it can be used to determine the structure of uh, location of COH group in the benzene ring we will discuss the next problem